this is where it all began. Now, hold on. So, you see this Dark Voyager here? He comes. Ooh, I'm gonna kill this Rust Lord. He's such a noob. Well, little does he know, I end up winning the game. It all started with me just wanting to get some normal chests, you know, for the game. Trying to get the Reaper. And, well, I already have the Reaper, but I'm just trying to level up, you know. And this little Dark Voyager comes here. Let's just, here we go. Hit on me. Right now, it is a 1v1. Then I notice all the other people are illegal. I can just build and hit them in the head. And I'll just let you guys watch this from right here. Try dancing, make friends with them. Then I see. He starts running away. I'm like, uh, where's the Dark Voyager? running. Then that Dark Voyager Eagles and that's the Dark Voyager from earlier. And boom, he's dead. Now this is mainly some boring stuff, so we're gonna cut to the next action. Now, after trying to attract some unwanted attention, as you can see here, I'm being shot at right now. I ended up skipping this firefight, because I did not have much ammo. I pretend like I'm running low on resources, building up brick first, but I mistakenly put down a wall, so I start breaking the trees, so he's, I'm trying to test if he shoots me, because I want attention. Right now, at this point, I just want to die, because I need one more chest. Oh, I didn't even notice there's a chest right there. This is the point where I got into some combat here. I see these two guys fighting and I'm like, should I get the scrape kill or wait for them? But I decide, you know what, it's better to get two kills than one. So I hit this. I hit him a couple times with the AR. I knew he was low on health. So I start jumping through the lake as you can clearly hear. He pops off another shot, and I'm like, okay, he's in there. Then, as I'm coming up, I see him. I, I don't see him yet. I'm like, there he is. I saw him poke over the rock. I hit him with the hand cannon. I heard something. I was like, wait, what was that? And I pop him with the hand cannon again. Now, for that sound up above me you heard earlier, I was all like, hmm, that must have been a port fort So, being my curious self, I started moving up there. I threw a little myth building into here, made sure he didn't hit me from behind. And, well, there it was, a port fort So I'm looking around this fort and I'm like, where is this guy? I can hear him. And there he is, right there, camping inside this port of fort Now at the time, I was just running around because I was like, where's the door to this thing? Then I realized he threw it inside the house. So I then come in here, right here. 
I pretend to break him. Break this, see if I can lure him. Here I go, up again. Going for the kill. Once again, throwing in some myth tactics here. I am the best Fortnite player in the world. Then, I see it. I see it. Hit him with the hand cannon. He's rushing in. He doesn't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm freaking out. Because he hasn't pulled out his phone. And all I have is that guy. And he throws another port of port. And I'm like, what the heck is this guy doing? I jump up there and I pop him off. Now, I'm going to skip a boring part. Pretty much, I just camped until the circle has come to an end, which as you can see on the right side, it will be coming to an end soon, and I think, oh, I might be in the circle, so I stay there, and I don't really get much action, so I'll cut to more action. Now at this point, I realize I need to get some resources. Because I had not much. So I get as much as possible. And get all these trees. And I have to get to the other side, as you can see. Where I am, and where that white circle is. I have to get inside that white circle. Resources. Then I start the journey. I did not show you. Um, I was fighting with this guy, and I didn't see anybody. And I woke up like, oh, somebody killed him. So I see that somebody killed him, and I'm like, who killed him? Then I see, I don't know when he came in. Where was he? Then there he is. I see the Stark Voyage. I don't see him yet, and I see him right there, and I'm like, Whoa, what is this guy doing? How did he get here? He almost one shot me there, and I hit him with a blue pump. And I am freaking out because I see a port -a fort my inventory's full, and I don't know what to do. So I drop what I can, pick up what I can, and I know I want that port -a fort but I know I want those med kits. So as you can see, I'm trying the uh, tactic to bring it into the storm as much as possible. You can clearly hear the storm behind me. Then I use the med kit. Now keep in mind, there's three med kits, so this is a pretty hard decision for me to make. I don't know why I dropped- I don't know what I was doing here. I was like dropping traps and then I was like, wait, what am I dropping? So I dropped the med kits and, well, I start reloading my weapons. Make sure everything's reloaded and then I am out of here. Now earlier, right here, as I was building up, as you see that's damaged, I actually got sniped, so I realized, you know what, this is a perfect time to use my portafort. 
And if you look on the top right at the minimap, I can't see that in game. But there's people around me and I didn't know where they were. Completely oblivious. I was just thinking I need to get this fort set up, so I do that. Then I realized I gotta cover that up. I should have put traps in there. Ooh, now that I look back at that. So what I'm doing right here is just something to reinforce it so it's harder to shoot down if they try to shoot me down from there. Some people do that, but that's not all you should do. You should also reinforce the ground of it. Now, as I'm reinforcing that, I was completely oblivious to this guy. And just a little spoiler, he was the final kill. So I'm up here, you know, minding my business, just watching for people. I see there's this guy up there, and I realize he's trying to snipe me. So I know, I knew he was taking a shot. I saw him. He's aiming. He's getting ready for his shot. And then, at some point, oh, well, that was neat. Some point here, I fire back. Yep, I am getting rid of that tree, so I don't get snuck up from by that tree. And at this point, he takes aim. He fires a shot. I know, I know he's there. wasn't that good so I hit him however I did not land a headshot and I was really mad about that then he starts building and I realized okay I'm gonna try to finish off this guy so what I did was I don't know why I even did this I built this uh this little roof up here to make them think I was gonna shoot a guided missile I don't know why they would think I was but here I am, just trying to finish him off. And I get ready. I know this storm's coming in, so I should play some launch pad here shortly. I'm extremely happy, because he's fighting with him. I take another shot, and I realize, okay, just stop sniping. I took out my AR. I set up the perfect accuracy. Boom, there. That was actually my kill. You could see that guy up there shooting him. start shooting that down because I saw the guy was hanging off the edge. I saw him slide. Right now I'm just standing here and I realize I gotta get out of here. So then I launch pad. I see him. This is the guy. And take in mind there's right here I am almost dead. I just start building like a maniac. I build some pyramid I have a pyramid set up like that just in case and I realize he's not fighting me. To a free cam for you guys. So I realize, oh my gosh, this guy wasn't fighting me and there's three people left. Now I know at that top right it doesn't show how many kills I have. I don't know how many I have at that point. I headshot him 93 with the pump. Or not with the pump, with the heavy shotgun. And take in mind, this is the last guy that I kill. completely oblivious to this guy behind me. I start building platforms because I want to cover the storm. Then this guy, he starts building up so I'm like, okay, yeah, you're not getting on top of me. Now, at this point, I thought he was right here on the edge, but I was just building like a madman, making sure. Then, I guess he dropped to the airdrop and I see, oh, they're, they're fighting like crazy over there. This guy, I could have headshotted him easily right there easy headshot but I didn't because I wanted to make sure when I got this last kill the guy was low on health so I just started expanding 
expanding as much as possible. I do not know why they did not shoot me down. I heard grenade launchers and I realized, oh crap, they're shooting. I thought they were shooting at me. But that guy was just shooting over here trying to blow up his base. Some of them were actually hitting me. Yeah, as you can see, he's trying to shoot me down a bit. So it's a, it's a fight between these two. He hit some. Then, I think, no, he didn't die. I, at this point, I started shooting that tree because I wanted to get a look. I could have hit him easily once again with my rifle, but I decided to wait. Oh, little lag spike there. I knew one of them went under me. This guy, one shot. I knew it. I knew this was my time. So I run in, took 36 fall damage, and there is the heavy shotgun kill. Let me play that one more time for you guys. In slow mo. Off six kills, but you can't see that. I don't know why. 